in this lecture i will show you how to make a memory project into apb project so previously i uploaded a one port ram memory with handshaking na same project i am taking and i will make it into apb project so in apb there is apb2 apb3 apb4 but now i will do apb2.5 like uh, apb2 light because uh, i am including all signals there in apb2 and two more signals there in apb3 one is uh, ready and error so i am including ready i am not including ready so it is not complete uh, apb3 and it is more than apb2 that's why i am naming as apb2.5 in reality there is no apb2.5 just casually i am telling okay but anyhow this will give you idea to do apb project na okay right so here what i will do so this is the memory project what is the this one so this is the memory project with hand shaking one port ram so now those signals i replaced with the apb signals and here i am connecting one more signal this is called p select p select okay so except to this signal if i remove this signal remaining all signals uh, or apb2 two signals if i remove this it will become apb2 along with this ready if i include error also it will become apb3 but here i am not including error okay so now i will open the code of uh, memory then see i will do changes same code i will uh, modify how i will modify you can see okay so p reset n because uh, as per the spec i am giving the names p reset n p clock so this will be p address so p ready then instead of valid it will be enable p enable p e n a v l and uh, this is p right p right p w r i t e in data nothing but write data p write data then no out data nothing but p out data p out p uh, read data p read data and here i am including p select also okay right so now here also i have to change p select 10 p reset 10 and this is p clock this is p enable p e n a b l e this is p right okay so this will become p ready this will become p address this will become p in data p write data it will become p read data p read data okay it will become p clock it will become p reset 10 okay it will become p ready it will become p read data okay next uh, this is become p enable p enable next uh, it will become p ready it will become p write p w r i t e okay 
this will become p address this will become p write data okay so applicable to this will become p write it will become p read data p address applicable to p enable p ready okay just i modified the signal names here one more thing i will do so this is p enable equal to 1 that uh, i am showing in another way and uh, again one more i am adding p select here p select also i am making one so this is the one change in the code i did along with signal name change okay so control s saving now go to test bench code we have to change in uh, test bench also na? so here p reset 10 p clock p enable this is p write this is p ready this is p address this is uh, p write data this is p read data okay so this is p reset n p clock p address p ready so valid become enable p enable okay p write p in write data p write to data pw data p read data pr data okay this is p clock this is also p clock P clock P reset N P reset N then this is P clock this is P address this is P write this is P write data this is p enable okay p ready so along with p enable i will do p select also equal to 1 p select 1 okay so this is p clock so this is one extra i added remaining are changes okay observe p address p write to data p valid p clock p address p write P write to data P enable so here I will do P select to 0 so this is extra added observe here I will do P select to 1 ok no? So this is P ready, P clock, P address, P write, P 
P write data, P valid, uh, P enable na, P enable. So I will do P select also zero. Okay, control is saving. So this P select zero here P select one. Here P select one, here P select zero, and here P select one, here P select zero. These are added extra. Remaining are signal changes. Okay. So in the test bench, what added? Select one, select zero, select one, select zero. In the design, what added? Here this uh, select one added. Remaining are signal changes. Okay. So I saved the code. Now I will copy the path. And I will run. okay so some more uh, values we have to change so memory in the line one okay we'll go to that so i will open with the jvm so that we can get to line numbers now so this will open with the jvm colon c space and u enter so where is the issue line 1 p select ok mm. so here we have not given p select so In the declaration we have not given, in the list we given, but declaration also we have to given, na? that's the issue, p select. So the, these two also added, okay, p select, save, and uh, yeah, we'll run and we'll check again, hmm. so now in the issue test bench, 41. 48 select to valid forty one P select and uh, forty eight Okay, so this is a P enable now. Valid is enable. E N A B L E. P enable. So here we have not to given P select. okay saving and running now okay we'll check once P select should be there here, but anyhow we'll run and I remove and uh, again I will run and check. So only one issue, forty one. 
undefined variable p select okay all right uh, so we'll go to starting hmm. so here in the here we have not given no? p select we have to give no? p select then we have to give here that's why it is telling undefined okay now it will run so just i take in uh, ram code with handshaking then i modified that's why i told before learning apb you learn uh, memory so that you can uh, know memory and apb both no okay once we'll check the working whether it is working fine or not see here uh, first clockage i made a request enable equal to one here no? and write so i want to do write operation so i selected the slave so here i requested here a response came so one write happened in the next post page second write happened third write happened fourth write happened at the next clockage i made all values zero okay now here you can see at this point i made my enable zero enable zero and here also enable zero enable zero okay so resetting all values okay next here see this one this is enable one enable one means uh, i started uh, requesting again for write up uh, read operation so here what it is selecting i selected i selected and requested okay and here you observe write equal to zero so i want to do read operation so i selected i requested see here i want to do read operation so i selected i requested this is request and i selected so here requested here response came so first to read happen see here first read happen first read happen here until this there is no read see first read happen second read happen third read happen fourth read happen okay so when we this uh, zero period is zero further read and write won't happen because slave is not ready okay so whether we getting same data or not we'll check so this is the first write and this is the first read okay in the first read what is the data zero one double zero in the first read what is the data yes in the second read what is the data triple zero one in the second read triple zero one in the third read one double zero in here also third read one double zero in the fourth read double zero double one in the fourth read double zero double one it means in this location we give in this data from that location only we are getting same data okay not these values you have to observe this when write started when request started when response came here when request started when response came okay when first read happened when first read happened these things you have to observe okay so it is working properly so it is uh, now you can uh, keep it as apb2 it is more than apb2 na okay so in uh, further lectures i will do apb3 with state diagram here i am not doing with any state diagram just i am utilized my uh, memory code so in further lectures i will do apb3 with uh, state diagram okay right so in that apb3 i will include error signal also okay right